So what I'm gonna do now is um, counting narcotics. That's one of the things that we do before um, it ships, okay? So let me show you guys how an Amnesty machine is. If you are a new nurse, um, you can look and see. So that's an Omnicell, that's where they keep medications for your patients. So when you have to give your meds, that's where you have to go so you can pull your medication. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Rosemont. Um, as you can see, I have on uniform. So that means that I'm working, I'm at work, I'm on a break, so that's why I'm on the phone okay um it's early in the morning day already started i'm just taking a quick break and introducing this video um today's sunday so we are filming a day in a life i love doing day in a life i've i have a couple of videos about day in the life so that's what we are doing today um yeah, my name is Rosemont. 
if you're new here um remember to like the video comment guys i like to interact with you so go ahead and comment on the videos um like the videos turn on your post notification which is the little bell um so that whenever i post a video you guys can um um be notified okay so um today so far pretty good it's a sunday and um don't mind these lines that i have here that's from the mask because i do wear in 95 i wear this <clears throat> and then of course i have my hair net that i wear and then we have this okay because we do have um <clears throat> i do have covid patients here um so i hope you guys enjoy my content um uh, i like to motivate um, especially if you're a nurse you want to become a nurse or you're in nursing school or you are a nurse already i want to be i want to show you my journey um i would like to interact with you we are real positive over here positive vibe only so i hope you guys um, enjoy my videos i'm trying to put out more content so bear with me guys because i work long hours so you know and of course i enjoy doing my videos it's just that sometimes it can be um hard so yeah guys so um yeah i hope you enjoy my content and thank you for watching always um let's chat down in the comments let me know what you want me to post what you like about my videos and whatnot so i will see you guys later on all right so i do have an n95 on and a surgical mask because i am taking care of covid patients so i hope you guys can hear me um so I'm gonna show you um, if you have a patient that is incontinent and we have something called a puric that you can place on your patient. It's good for your incontinent patients. It's if you wanna monitor um, output, urinary output for your patient, you can also use that. You use it for your incontinent patients. So let me show you guys what you're gonna need i actually have a patient that i have to place that on so let me show you guys what a puric is and what you need to get okay so right here we have to get the canister okay so that's where the urine will be going into once you connect it to your patient um that is the top the cover of the canister and the actual puric is this one okay so this is a puric this is what you're gonna use to um, put in between um, your patient you know private area so you can collect your urine so i just wanted to show you guys because some people may not be familiar with that um, so you get your puric, you get your canister, and then um, there's extension cord that you can use to extend it to make it a to make it longer, which is here. So here you'll cut and take the size, the length that you need for your patient. Okay. So if you have an incontinent patient. Um, very convenient okay so to use a puric for your patient let me open it so you guys can actually see what it looks like let me open it for you okay that's the puric and this is what it looks like Okay, so I just wanted to do a little 
um, just to show you guys whoever do not know I know some nurses know some of you that are new nurses you may not know or your facility you may not use that but a lot of facilities do use it this um, may come in different colors or different um, shape and, and size or whatever but okay that's what you use hey guys so what I'm here doing is I'm um, sitting at the desk I have to do some documentation on my patient um, unfortunately I cannot you know show certain things for privacy um, yeah so that's what I'm doing right now okay just to give you guys a little bit of an update <laughs> hey y'all so I am at lunch right now it's 3 p.m. Um, I went down to the cafeteria. They had nothing to eat. It's just crazy. Um, on the weekends, really, it's barely anything. Sometimes they have pizza. They had some rice with um, some ground beef. And then they had some fish. But um, it didn't look too appetizing, so I didn't get that. So I went to the cafe. Um, I got me a crunchy Cali roll. And then um, I have me this green tea. And then of course, I got me some sweets. <laughs> so that's gonna be my lunch, guys. And then um, I'm gonna go to the floor. Um, I didn't wanna overeat. So I think when I get home, I might have to make something um, because I work tomorrow again. So I might make me something when I get home. So yeah guys, um, so far day is good, um, typical nursing day, taking care of patients. So this thing is giving me marks, the N95, it's really messing with my face. So guys, um, I'm going to eat and then I will chat with you guys later on. When I get off, we will talk some more. all right guys so let me finish eating and i'll check back with y'all later on hey y'all so i'm back home it's 8 45 so i'm going to jump in the shower and then after that i'm gonna come to the kitchen make me some food because i'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna make me something to eat and then after that, 
um, and then I'll get something for tomorrow as well because I need to bring some food tomorrow to work because um, I'm spending way too much money on food so that's one thing I said this year I'm gonna try to do more is cooking more at home bringing food um, to work with me because it gets real expensive with food when you have to buy food for breakfast for lunch and it's a lot so and sometimes you don't even like the food that you know they have but you buy and it just because you didn't bring anything to work so I need to do better in that area so I'm gonna cook um, put up some put some up for tomorrow and then eat a little bit and yeah so let me jump in the shower and then I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Best friend, yeah, she my best best friend, yeah, she my bestie. Follow for you is endless. Nobody else can end it. Oh, no. I get the money back, then baby girl, you can spend it. Oh, no. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. I'm gonna be doing my skincare um, using my Fenty um, products. That's what I've been using lately. Um, and then I purchased this Jade Roller Set. I wanna use and I got this from Amazon. It was it was pretty affordable. Um, I'm not I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I know it was a very affordable um, Yeah, if you want to see it again, this is what I'm gonna be using is the um, comfy Jade roller set So it has a jade roller the gua sha It has a facial brush. It has a ridge roller a micro fiber cloth and a travel pouch so we're gonna use that. Okay. This is what I'm gonna be using, and this will be my first time using it. Uh, and I got it from Amazon, okay? Uh, I don't know what's going on with this, Jesus. Okay guys, so this is how it comes. Today will be my first day using it. Um, it comes with some instructions as well. Um, I'm hoping that it does work for me. Um, so we shall see. So first I'm gonna be washing my face with my Fenty. So far with the Fenty um, skin, I'm liking it. So far I'm liking the Fenty skin, okay? no issues so far okay um, so we're gonna start washing
so after the, that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then um, I'm gonna use my serum and then with that I'm gonna use the I can use this but I really think I'm gonna use this and then I will use the gua sha I think that's what I'm gonna do but um, I was reading the instructions it says that with the gua sha it's best to put it in the fridge um, it's best to put it in the fridge before you use it so I'm gonna wash it a little bit this one is good for lymphatic drainage to drain fluid down and also this one is also good for massaging so you can use them um, three to five times per area I'm gonna uh, put my serum So first I'm gonna use this, the jade roller. I'm gonna use this one first. this one I'm gonna use it for up here So that and then the next one we're gonna use is this the gua sha so with the gua sha you use it this way you go like this Then after that, you go this way. And then the last one is gonna be this. That's the ridged roller. So this one is more for massaging. Now we are using this one. All right guys, so I am done with my skin. So as you can see, my skin is uh, moisturized. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys um, realistically um, how a um, day in my life could be as a nurse, you know, working 12 hours. I went to work um, 
Thank God today's Sunday. It wasn't crazy. I got out of work at a decent time. And then um, I made it home. I was able to cook uh, my dinner for tonight and then to have food for tomorrow. And I did a little bit of skincare. Okay, so we did that. And I just want to show you guys real stuff, okay? I, like exactly what I do um, after work. And because um, it can be hard working 12 hour shifts. Sometimes you are so tired, you come home, you crash. Especially if you do like three shifts back to back or four shifts back to back. Because sometimes we do work like that. Um, Sometimes people ask me, how do you do, you know, a 12 hour shift? Because it can be very strenuous on the body because you're on your feet a lot, you know, going rooms to rooms and always on your toes doing stuff, on your feet doing stuff. So it can be hard, but it's doable, you know? People are doing it, I'm doing it, other nurses are doing it. So it, it is doable, but keep in mind that it can really take a toll on the body at times. So that's why it's very good for you to take care of yourself and um, do things that makes you feel good. You know, after you work a 12 hour shift, do something for you to make you feel good. Like if you are into skin, do skin. If you are into like drinking your little wine, drink your wine, you know, do things that makes you feel better after a 12 hour shift because sometimes it's, you know, can be a lot. So yeah, guys, so I, in my channel, I want to show you the real deal. I want to show you, you know, not like made up. I just, I want to show you the real stuff. So that's what I did for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching me. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video so you can come and watch your girl so yeah so what i'm gonna do now is um just chill before i go to bed and i'm gonna tie my hair because this lace it looks like it's lifting a little bit so tomorrow morning before i go to work i think i'm gonna um, possibly you know put some stuff there to Hold it down so yeah so I can look decent so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a day in the life on a Sunday and um, comment down below you know let's chat in the comments let me know what you feel about the video and yeah thank you for rocking with your girl if you've watched me this far on the video thank you for watching me and I will see you guys in the next one.